Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Strain Style, and today we're talking about the punch shot rig, or the slither rig. I like to rig it up on the reins punch shot weight, just because you can make your own skirts for it, you can change the colors out on the lake if you need to. I'm rigging it on a medium heavy 7.4 Daiwa Tula Rod. Daiwa Tatula TWS Type R Reel, 40 pound braid. I believe that's 40 pound on this one. And flipping heavy cover, man. Uh, Midsummer, the weeds are as thick and as lush and as green and as strong as they're going to get, and they're tucked up in the thick stuff, especially on these bluebird calm days. Like the llama says, man, you got to be flipping on these days. Yeah, that was one of my biggest of the of the year. Had to be close to five, if maybe not a hair over. But yeah, I went out to go do a, some topwater fishing, and it just wasn't happening. And I heard that magic. That magic uh, noise in the pads, all the bait fish popping and sunfish coming up and popping. And man, I figured the pads had to be just stacked. And they were. Then I moved offshore a little bit. There's a real thick cabbage clump out here off a of break. And sometimes they're really stacked in there, but this year was not the year. Yeah, I set the hook so hard on that one, he about came flying into the boat. But yeah, with the punch shot, man, I mean, a D-bomb, missile baits D-bomb, uh, the Berkeley Powerbait Pit Boss, a couple favorites. I also like using the OSP Doe Live Shrimp, 6-inch, and that Jackal uh, Craw. It's punching some more pads. And during the summer, like, if you're having a hard time getting through with a jig and stuff, man, this tends to come through uh, better, and it'll come out cleaner. The lake has starting to get the algae bloom to it, so I'm using a black and blue three-quarter ounce. I like to put two bobber stops up on there. And with that uh, Ryugi infinity hook, man... <laughs> Lights out. These bass don't have a chance. Yeah, so once I found out that they were in those pads, I just kind of like started uh, running these outside uh, pads and started getting bites on tough conditions. Yeah, so that's the... That's the bait, and I'm going to show you guys how I rig it up. All right, I'm going to show you how I do the punch rig or punch shot or slither rig or whatever else it's called. Um, big fan of the reins. You can buy it unskirted. Reins, tungsten's a little bit smaller than um, other brands, but you know the price of this stuff. It's crazy. So anyway... That said, I've been using this uh, Rugi hook, the Infinity. Man, great hookup ratio. Um, the only thing is, the way they're set up is the hook point comes up above the eyelet a lot farther than, let's say, like an owner, which I have here. Um, so it tends to like poke out of your soft plastic a lot. You got to adjust it all the time, but no big deal, man. It's super sharp. But, um, so anyway, this is the finished product, but anyway, I was using a three quarter ounce and then I like using the living rubber. This is the thin rubber. I like the large round rubber. I mean, you can get that um online somewhere 
And then if you want, you can also throw a little accent color in with it blue, black and blue, green pumpkin with any accent color. You know, you get that little tool and this little O-ring down there. I don't know if you guys can even see that. But anyway, um, I like to put a lot of skirting material on mine. So it's going to, if you get a lot of hits, it's going to pull the rubber and the whole thing off. And you got to fiddle with it all the time. So what I do then is just, I'll wrap some little thin wire around. And it'll stay pin then and why was I using this rig over like a jig or a Texas rig um, the jig wasn't going through I was fishing those pads and the jig was kind of like sl lackadaisical sliding off the pad you know I kind of just wanted a big thump you know um, and also this is like a jig, so you're going to get a little bit bigger bite, hopefully. Um, I definitely did today, so that was really cool. But you're going to want to rig it up, man. I'm putting two bobber stops before it, and I like to put one after it just to protect the knot a little bit. Then, you know, just Texas rig it. And uh, what's funny is when I'm out there, I'm using all, like, my retread baits that I, like, remelted together because I'm cheap and why not, you know? And one of those, like, I don't even know what it's called right now. But, man, if you got 10 minutes to, you know, fix your soft plastic baits, man, they're great for practice or whatever. And then come game time, use your good stuff. Um, but anyway, so I was out there and I was like, this one's no good this one's no good but anyway i made it work so that's the rig man check it out thanks